Welcome to CTV's broadcast of East China High School Sports, presented to the community by Magda. Let's join our announcers now for all the action of East China High School Sports. Hi everyone, welcome again to CTV St. Clair's ongoing presentations of St. Clair basketball. I'm Fred Shaw alongside my longtime partner and Hall of Fame basketball coach Tony Monty. We're here again tonight and ready to bring you what should be a great game featuring Fraser High and St. Clair's Lady Saints. Currently Fraser and the Saints are tied for second place in the goal division at 3-1 behind the Mariners of Marine City who are currently undefeated. And now ladies and gentlemen it's time for our national anthem. I know you had a chance to preview the game with both coaches. What's your feeling about the matchups tonight? <laughs> well, they both lost to Marine City at Marine City. Fraser comes in at eight and four, three and one, and the Saints come in at five and five, and they're three and one. And as you know, Coach, you got to win your home games if you want to contend for the championship. So it's a big game for the Saints tonight. Yeah, you want to you want to defend that home court. Number five. Well, here are the starting lineups. Number 
Well, Coach, they're a little shorthanded. You know, they lost Zimmer last last week against Marine City with a sprained ankle, so she's not dressed tonight. No, and that, that uh, is definitely a key cog in the Petrakowski machine. Uh, however, Audrey Schindler is a nice sized center, and this particular club that we're playing tonight, Fraser, doesn't start anyone over 5'9. Saros. Nice move right to the basket. Starting out in the eye defense. This is a pressure deep zone defense. Outside shot taken, rebounded by St. Clair. Vickers on the rebound up to Saros. Saros looking for the center. There she is. Malcolm with the ball. Penetrates. Oh. We had a little bit of slippage, and that's going to be a walk on uh, Vickers' part. No press, but we will see a pressure defense on the perimeter with the, this particular zone. Uh, high hands always is important. Rebound taken by Fraser over the top. Loose ball. Swing it to the left. Coming back to the right side. Quinn, the ball to number 10, Axina. Saros on the, the trip up the court, kicks out to the wing. Back to Schindler. Malcolm. Back in the corner. Kamarowski. Showing good patience. Yeah. Uh, looking at a man-to-man, -man coach. And there's an, <clears throat> a nice cut to the basket. Let's see. Oh, she didn't quite finish it. And battle for the ball. Out comes Schindler. Schindler on the putback. Persistence. This should be a good game for her because she's uh, at least four inches taller than anybody on their team. She, yeah, she rebounded. She, she kept the ball up. Yeah, she didn't bring it down, which oh. we always harped on. I think uh, talked to Darren a little bit before the ball game, and I believe they're going to vary their defenses tonight. But this one they started out in as a pressure zone defense. Yep. Um, he's been using a little bit of, and he's hoping he's got four quicks on the floor and one big girl, and that's what you like. Yep, they got good pressure on the ball and yep. got their hands up. Schindler inside, nice pass. Kamarowski wasn't able to quite finish it, but shot taken. And we have a jump ball with the possession arrow favoring Fraser. We have a couple of sisters on the Fraser team starting out. Yeah, there's, they uh, start uh, two freshmen. Yeah, uh, he's young. They're pretty young. He's a former Marine City boys basketball coach, so uh, he knows his stuff. Malcolm has it stripped. Boy, that doesn't happen very often. She's, no, it doesn't. She's got a good handle. And possession will go to St. Clair off of number 21. That's Peyton Clays. with the ball, bringing it up. She's what you want in a point guard. She's very steady. There's Vickers on the cut to the basket. Foul on number five. Nice Quinn. entry pass. Vickers is quite the athlete. I've been to like three or four of the practices and watched them. And he right now has four really fine all-around athletes on the, on the floor, along with Schindler, who's... Uh, going to give you a presence in the court, post, and always like that. And it's not yep. that she's not a good athlete. I don't mean that at all. She's got, she's got a good big, size. She's a big kid that moves well. 
Not the cool Morgan type, but big, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's one I wouldn't turn down, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> I like a big presence in the middle. Yeah, she's very good at it. Ball left and into the post area off of number 21's foot. That's Bryn Norback. They're going to press to try to get some turnovers. Uh, he wasn't expecting a press, so let's see how we handle it. One four. This is new. Uh, not bad. This is the Wayne State press breaker. <laughs> Laura's wife is the head coach at uh, Wayne State. She came and put this in. Nice basket by Audrey Schindler. And now we're going man. There's a the switch out. I will say that the 1 1 3 was pretty effective. Yep. Goes against St. Clair. That'll be a and first personal foul. And that'll go Saros. against uh, Saros. Saros. Number 21 at the line. That's Bryn Norback. Bryn's got a sister on the team as well. Makes good on the first of one, or of two, rather. And makes both free throws. Here comes Schneider into the ball game for Saros to give her a little break. Schneider can play multiple positions, and she's just a sophomore. Retrieval, brings it up, finds Schindler, shot, and rebound taken off by Kamarowski. Foul on the play. She'll go to the line, shoot two. Score is 7-2 to two St. Clair with 3.32 left in the quarter. Two fouls on Fraser, one on St. Clair. She splits the pair, and we're back in the eye. So changing defenses quickly, and if you watch, there'll be pressure on the ball with this zone, which is unusual. A pressured shot, oh, and a rebound taken off by number 21, Norbeck. And a foul on the play. Yes, foul on Vickers. Was that Vickers? Yeah. Okay. That's her first. And right away we'll go to the bench and uh, imagine Furlan will come in for Vickers. Darren can ill afford to have anyone in foul trouble today. Yeah. He's got to protect them. And he has a nice look deep bench. Uh, I'll say that. Chasing the ball and lets it go out of bounds. It'll be St. Clair ball, no press. So we may see some press action uh, here and there, it looks like. Uh, this is like a 1 2 2 trap. Yeah. Zone D. 1 2 2 zone. And there's a nice skip pass. This is a shot that she can make. 
Oh, nice rebound. And look back. Schindler. This should be her game to shine, Coach. Yep. Snyder out, pressuring the ball. Komarowski on the ball, now Malcolm. Covering up the inside is a little bump there. That little bump resulted in a crash. <laughs> Number 21 on the free throw line, Brynn Norbeck. That's the first on Schindler and uh, third personal for St. Clair. In and out, here comes Saros in for Schindler. He's going to shorten that bench up a little bit tonight, I think. Yeah. Give her a break. Yeah. Well, Saros is probably the, maybe if not the strongest, at least in the mid. <laughs> And so she can play down low if she has to, but she's such a nice ball handler. Darren, Darren usually trusts her out, to, out front with the ball. But Malcolm handles the ball for us nicely. Malcolm with the ball, looking at a zone D. Oh, I checked that. That was man to man. Rebounded by Komarowski. Off of the St. Clair hand. That was first our first turnover, is it? Yeah. Man to man press, full court. So you can see that both coaches are gonna show you a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah, they're and, changing uh, up. That makes uh, continuity hard to achieve. Nice pass. Yep. Berlin on the ball. Created the turnover and got the got the ball on top of that. Malcolm on top. Man to man. Schneider. Komarowski. Saros. Swinging from side to side. Good patience. Real nice. Furlan underneath. Going to draw a foul. Yep, that was a good pass to her. Furlan. Ball on the floor. Baseline out. This is what we call right back. Oh, and it's, it leaves you wide open. And I really think that corner shot is the easiest shot in basketball. Yeah. You just got to... Take enough of them to get confident. Oh. Oh. Off the bat, off the glass. I, I heard her call glass, didn't yep. you? <laughs> Saros taking it all away. Uh, got it. Missed it. But yep. nice move to the basket and nice long pass out by Fraser. Here we go. Ooh, she got bumped. Stepped out of bounds. Yep. And here comes Grazia in for Komarowski. Brooks got a nice shooting touch. Back in the eye. They'll play the eye, and there she goes out. Nice shot. Wing shot. That's the first one they've made from the wing. Saros. Oh, oh, nicely done. Score is 12 days, St. Clair, 20 seconds left in the quarter. I wouldn't let her shoot again. She's already made no. one. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe it'd be okay. <laughs> and one second left in the quarter, it'll be St. Clair ball. Basket, so it's ball out. Yeah, they got it. They'll get a shot off. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, the score 
at the end of one quarter. It stands 12 for St. Clair, 8 for Fraser. Well, Shores has four points, uh, one rebound, one foul. Kamarski's has uh, one point. Vickers has one point, and Schneider has six. Schindler. A, Schindler has six. Hi, I'm Greg Ross. I'm the assistant general manager at Magna here in St. Clair. I spent almost 20 years with this company, and I can personally attest that at Magna you will work hard, but you will be given an opportunity if you're willing to take it. I've been a leader at this division since very near the beginning. I know this team. Our leadership team is committed to listening and driving forward every day towards our goal of world class. Join our team and let's create the future of mobility together. Apply today at magna.com slash careers. Yeah, this is a game where Schindler should score. Yeah, they gotta try to get the ball into her. Yeah, yeah. She's gotta hang around the basket. And she also needs to stay out of foul trouble yeah. because they, she is their lone big with Zimmer out. You know, you and I were talking before the game, and we've got a guy on the book over there that's in two Hall of Fames for his scorekeeping, Bill Duro. He's in the Football Hall of Fame and in the Basketball Hall of Fame. They both have uh, sections where you can achieve Hall of Fame status and be a, a person that is, is maybe a scorekeeper or a ticket taker. But Bill has been doing it for probably 40 years. I know. And you told me that he does it at Junior College and yep. Marine City and yeah, he's, St. He, Clair. He does it year-round. <laughs> does soccer. I, and I haven't seen him do baseball, but I guess it's probably the only thing he doesn't do. All right, we're back. And Malcolm with the ball penetrates. And we have steps. Yeah, she was looking for somebody that had drawn up in the, in the book at the break. Fraser to the wing left and swing pass right. Wing left again, now into the post. Shot up. A little long. Follow. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. That's on Schindler. Let's find out. Yep. Number 35 at the line. That's Lorelei Logan. She's a 5'8 forward. And she serves as their center. She's a junior. St. Clair. Uh, they're going to press. They're in a press. Here we go with the 1-4 look. And again, this is another Wayne State press breaker. Nice look for Vickers. Exit. I can relate to that. I used to do that a lot. There's Schindler rebound. on the rebound. Pass out to Malcolm. Back down into Vickers. Or to Schindler. Shot up and oh, falls. Nice entry pass. She was patient. Got the ball on the backboard. Now you're looking at a 2-3 two, two, defense. Steal oh. by Vickers. Malcolm with the ball. Coming up court. Back to Vickers. Shot. A little short. Oh, we got a foul on that one. And that might be Vic. That might be. Oh, it was. Oh, it was. No. Yep, it was. Yeah. That's three. Schindler's got three fouls. That is the coach's nightmare in this case. Yeah. Uh, his, his other center with the. Got to put her on the bench. Yeah. Well. We'll see how they do without the big girl. Right now, he's got five athletes on the floor that can really move. And they're not playing a huge team. Uh, they match up size-wise. Yeah. Swinging it back and forth, doing a nice job with that. Fraser 
looking for each other. Drive in. Vickers on the rebound. Good, good Strong good rebound. board. Saros to Snyder. Snyder keeps it in play. Back to Saros. Saros a point guard for the team here. Malcolm. Vickers. Eight, 17 8, 536 on the clock. Good patience on that. Fraser's very patient with the ball as well. Yeah, and they play very good. Moving the ball well. Shot up and off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Fraser's Claire Wise. Wise on the point. Looking to penetrate. Back out to Shada Oxendon. Vickers on the breakout and scores it. Snyder will. Oh, timeout. Timeout even. Coach didn't like what he saw there. That's Bob Fulgenza for Fraser. is a score coach with 452 and um, even with uh, Schindler on the board we're not giving away much rebounding because this team isn't very big. No, they're not very big and our kids are doing a nice job of being aggressive defensively and going to the boards of rebound and getting out and going with it. Well they have good foot speed on the floor but so does Fraser and that you know there's a reason that both teams are three and one. Yeah. <laughs> They're both competent teams. Yeah, both both teams are well coached. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's see if uh, Coach Fulgenza comes up with uh, another look. Coach Peter Crosby will probably change his defense now. You can be surprised. That's a good move when you, the other coach talk, calls timeout. Make sure you switch up for at least one play. At least one. One possession. Yeah, man, man to man. Man to man. Man to man. And that, this group right here can handle man to man very well. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at Almost, yeah, there we go. Turnover. Saros. Oh, I hope she didn't get hurt. Stepped on the ball. We cannot ha afford to lose her. <laughs> no. That'll be a, that'll be a walk. No, they got to give it to St. Clair. I don't know what's going on on that one. I didn't, I didn't see call the foul. Call. They call the foul? Yeah, on 20. Okay. Malcolm comes to the ball, and Saints reset. Komorowski inside to Schneider. Had a hard time finding the handle with the uh, yeah. pressure on the ball. Yeah. Should have bounced past that. Corner. Yeah. That's an easy shot. I always think it's in when they shoot it. But yep. You got to see one go in, Coach. Yep, once, once one goes in, your that basket looks a whole lot bigger. You saw that last night with Jackson. Mm -hmm. Holes. He yeah, the first he, once one. he saw the first one go in, he was, he was give me money. the ball. Yep. <laughs> Good Furlan first. into Schneider. We got a foul on the play by number 44. Yep. That's it. So you go with a little Anna baby hook. Snyder will step to the line with at the 405 mark with a 19 to 8 lead. Good form, a little long. As a coach, you want to hear string music. <laughs> Makes your life easier. Yeah. She'll split the pair. Fraser inbounds. Quinn bringing the ball up the court. Now up to 11, Claire Wise. Wise to Norbeck. Norbeck squeezes in between. Traveled. And on the process, she traveled. 
comes Vickers out for a rest. Nice catch by Furlan. Back to Malcolm. Inside to Schneider. Puts it up a little long. Furlan on the rebound. Schneider. Yes, oh, man. That was 11. We got an injury on the floor, Coach. Yep, she hit hard. Can't see a number on that one yet. I didn't see the uh, incident. She got, they got bumped going for the ball. Oh, she, is that what it was? Yeah, she got bumped and she hit the floor hard. <laughs> well, we've seen enough injuries this year. I, I hope she's okay. At the 3.31 mark with a player down, it is 22 to 8 St. Clair. Each team has five fouls. We get some balance going with the team. We're going to get her up here, coaches. Coaches assisting. That's Bryn Norback for Fraser. Hopefully, she'll be able to return to the game. I think she might have just bumped her head, which, of course, could be. Yeah, she's holding her head. So yeah, forehead. Yeah. I'll tell you what. When you when you do see stars when that happens, that's happened to me a few times. Yeah, for a non-contact sport. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. No. Man to man. Fraser swings it and out of con loses control on the far yeah, side. Line. Unforced turnover there. Yeah. Now come up the floor. Looking for Schneider. Schneider back to Malcolm. Inside to Saros. Kick back to Schneider. Back to Saros. Looking for a little bit of room. Doesn't find it. Oh, she's got the three-second call. Yep. Just had one foot in. She's doing a good job inside. Well, yeah, she's very capable of playing any position on the floor. on the ball, and that'll be on Saros. Good entry pass. Yeah, it was a nice entry, yeah, for sure. That'll send number 35 to the line. That's Lorelei Logan. And that's uh, Saros' second. Taking no chances, he gets Saros out of the ball again. She is the leading scorer on the team. Missed them both. Down court. Schneider. There we go. There we go. I, that's what I've been seeing in practice. Maybe that basket's getting bigger for her. Hopefully, hopefully that was a nice three. You said she made her first one, she made her second. Yeah. Offensive foul. Yeah. Illegal screen. Yeah, it was an illegal screen. Malcolm on the ball and being dogged by number 11. And we got a timeout, St. Clair. Good timeout. The score 25 8, St. Clair. 2 14 left in the second quarter. Six fouls for St. Clair, five for Fraser. We got a ball game, coach. Yep. Kids are playing well. But they're playing unselfish. They're showing some good patience in the offensive end, and their defense is solid. Well, let's see what Coach Petro's got in his bag of tricks here. This time out, well, we'll see uh, again. Bob over on the Fraser side of be wary of any kind of uh, changeup that they're trying to make. Right now, uh, Snyder's got the hot hand. Might be looking for her. 
Yeah, she's the leading score in the second quarter with six points. Richard has two right now, and uh, Schneider, Schneider has two. She reminds me so much of her mother. She's, uh, at this point in her life, she's a little bit bigger, yep. which is, but she's the same type of player. Good, tough, tough competitor. a trap, and we got a grab on that one by number 11, Claire Wise. That'll put them at six fouls, and the next foul on either team will send them to the line for one and one. Uh, entry pass was not, uh, not where it should have been. Nope. He advertised that, telegraphed it. I want to make... Right in the person's hands. Yep, we'll send uh, it's fallen Malcolm. Quinn to the line. One one. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, two. She gets two. That no. was on the shot. First foul on Malcolm. And she splits the pair. Malcolm and Furlan at the guard, bringing it up into Vickers, who drives and necks it. Oh. But nice move to the basket on the baseline, and just didn't quite get it over the front of the rim. Furlan dogging it, and here's Vickers on the steal. How's that for an athletic move? Left hand. Yep. Good speed. I mean, they left-handed. Yeah, and and you know the footwork's perfect. Necked it. Malcolm with the ball up court, and we'll see the weave again. 57 seconds left in the quarter. Probably looking for the last shot. Oh, back cut to Komarowski, and she converts it. What a nice pass. That was a great pass. When you overplay that, that's what happens. Yep. You fall asleep and cut to the basket. And that's what they need to do, layups. Boy, that was a nice pass. Quinn on the basket. Furlan, Malcolm, 23 seconds to go. We'll see what happens here. I think we'll probably run the same weave here. Yeah. Deflected out of bounds by Fraser. Oxendine on the deflection. Out top, seven seconds. Shot up. And that'll end the half with Sinclair ahead 29-11. Pretty well played first half by St. Clair. Very good. Good patience. Well, the scoring in the second quarter was Burnham with two, Kolkowski with two, Schneider with seven, Vickers with four, and Schindler with two. That's outstanding. A good balance. Yeah. Well, Coach, we're going to send this back to CTV. Hi, I'm Greg Ross. I'm the Assistant General Manager at Magna here in St. Clair. Every day on my commute, I see now hiring signs, including at our own facility. We too are looking for great people to join our team at our brand new facility. We're looking for skilled trades, engineers, purchasing, human resources, leadership, and many more positions. We offer training, development, and a fair wage. We have a facility that is state of the art with good lighting and a focus on your safety. If you want to be part of a winning team, are willing to work hard, contribute your ideas, go to magna.com careers and apply today. 
North Star Bank, your local community bank serving St. Clair, Sadlac, Huron, and Washtenaw counties. When you need a local community bank for home loans, checking, savings, and other banking needs, North Star Bank is the community bank that you want to deal with. The bank that will take care of all your personal and business needs. North Star Bank has a new mobile application that you can download to make banking even easier. North Star Bank, guiding the way. Member FDIC. Welcome back everybody at the start of the second half. I'm pretty sure most of both teams will start their start starting lineups. And the score again is 29 St. Clair, 11 for Fraser at this point. I know Coach Petrakowski would love to have a similar result in the second half. Well, you know, the first three minutes of the half is really important. It sets the tone for the second half. Nice shot nice by the Fraser number 21, Bryn Norback. A little curl shot. They're in a 1 2 2 zone. Komarowski on a. <laughs> she was going to try to do the same thing to them. And we got a ball stuck up in the rack, and uh, that generally results in a jump ball. Now, there's nobody in the gym that can jump up and knock it out. <laughs> St. Clair ball on the baseline, I believe. No, I, it's. Yeah, they had the arrow. Okay. So when you stick one like that or it gets stuck, it's a jump ball situation. Komarowski on the shot, a little long. Saros off of uh, the Fraser player. Baseline out. Norback knocked it out of bounds. Now we're telegraphing her pass. The timing on that was not good. No. Saros on the, oh, she's going to draw the foul on that like B3, I believe. Yep, that's three on source. First team foul. Shooting two. Number 21, Bryn Norbeck. It's a little bit unusual. That looked like a two-handed shot to me. But whatever works for you, you know? Yep. Yeah. As a coach, you don't really care as long as you can make it yet. Don't you think that was a two-handed shot? It was a two-handed yeah. shot. <laughs> Come on, girls. <laughs> All right. Back into a 1-2-2. Two, two. Saros with the ball. Entry pass. Nice pass to Vickers, who Vickers converts nice. it. 31-14. 2-3 zone. High hands up. Oh, we got a piece. That's what you're looking for. Tomorowski with the athletic move. Get some tips. Fraser will use a 1-3-1 one, one and throw a free ball. on the three ball from the point. And Darren wisely called the timeout because you're right, the first three minutes is yeah. extremely important and they're a minute and a ten seconds in and they've already reduced the lead by a couple points. Six forty six mark, it's thirty one seventeen. And let's see what Coach Petro has up his sleeve. Well, they've been just a little bit soft up on top on their defense. So they need to tighten that up again like they were before. Well, that would be the 1-1, one, 1-1-3. One, yep. one, one, They're in a 2-1-2 two, two right now, or a 2-3. And yep. you're looking at an odd front on Fraser's part with a zone. Saros will take the shot. Back to Komarowski, who banks it just off. Sink her out of bounds. Baseline out. Let's see what we run.
right back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's four. That's four? Yep. That's that, four on fours. That is not a good thing. No. Snyder's going to come in for him. Zone out of bounds. Underneath. Shot up. Schindler with the ball. One, two, two zone has been pretty effective so far. On everybody but Schindler, or everybody but uh, Vickers. <laughs> Vickers is a nice athlete. That was a good pass. Yeah, it certainly was. A two, three. Shot up, and they're going to make that. I think yeah. if you're going to play the two, three, you need to go to a, oh, they need another guard. Malcolm bring it up the court. Looking to enter and not there, so she'll swing it to the other side. Snyder on the shot. A little short. Ball out of bounds. Fraser. You know, they're not moving the defense. No. Taking the first shot and not, and not making a defensive move for, for rebounding. All right, he changed up. He was going man to man. Which I think, given the results, oh. That's the second time. She's That's done the that. second time. Norback. Well, she's got four fouls, so she has to watch herself, yeah. right? 33-22, St. Clair. Deflected. They have become more aggressive defensively. Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely hawking the ball right now. Extending their zone too, Tony. It's not a one-one-three, but it's a very aggressive one-two-two. Two. Yep. They'll zone out of bounds. Amorowski draws the foul. Clear ball, baseline out. Has a 1 4 spread. Let's see what they do with this. Inbound to the center, right back to Malcolm. He puts it up, a little long. Wise brings the ball up the floor, and you can't just leave her alone because she will take the three. There's an interception by Schneider, who gets knocked off the ball. Oh, we're going to oh. give the ball to the other team, and uh, it's crunch time. <laughs> man to man. Sinclair does this pretty well. Vickers hustles to the ball, brings it up the floor. She probably, oh, didn't see her coming. Vickers on the foul. Foul on the floor, that'll be the... That's Third first. foul on St. Clair. The second foul on Vickers. Okay. I think we came out a little flat. I think that's happened sometimes when you have a big lead. First half, come out. Do a Cruise control. Yep. That's what I'm always afraid of. Yeah. They 
getting a piece of the ball. They're just not able to corral it. No. Here comes Furlan in for Schindler. It's a little speed on the floor here. A little more speed on the floor. They've got five girls who can run. Matches up well with Fraser, who's got the same kind of combination. Yeah, Five girls are all in. Uh, Furlan on the push. On the floor. That was another, that was that exact same shot. Think she might have practiced that a few times, Coach? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's in a repertoire. What are we going to do here? Man to man. That's on 23. Yeah, it's Komarowski. Komarowski is her first. That is a six-team foul. Now we're, next not, we're not moving our feet now. We're doing a lot of reaching. by number 10, Oxendon. Use your left hand. Go see if you take field. a timeout. You should take one. Long board and good hustle by yep. Warlock. They're coming out hustling us. Now he's going to take a timeout. Well, Darren has been around hoops long enough to know when to take them. Yep. He's going to need to change up something because the score right now is 33 to 26. Quite a comeback for Frazier. And they have old Mo on their side right now. Yep. It's, they're a little more aggressive defensively right now. Our kids are... I didn't think a little bit of fatigue, maybe. Maybe. Well, they got to stop the bleeding. Well, you know, in the huddle, we got to be encouraging and uh, maybe make a, a, an adjustment on your defense. And well, if you think they're sagging a little bit, then you might just jack them up a little bit. There. Yeah, they're, they're sagging. Doing a lot of reaching instead of moving their feet. He'll get them straightened out. Well, they need a couple baskets here, yeah. and that'll get the momentum going again. Well, you know, making baskets covers a multitude of sins. <laughs> sure does. Furlan's about to get posted. Yeah, that's what we used to call St. Joe's. And Vickers comes away with the steal and going to take it all away. Look that. Oh! Knocked away right at the end by number 11. Wise. Good defense on her part. Because yeah. that was going to be a basket. Because Vickers has uh, got a good left hand. There's the right back play. And we got to make one of those one of these days. Uh-oh. A miss. Snyder gets it knocked away. Uh, tough line. pass. The idea was good, this was the angle was bad. When I try to catch the ball and turn and find the basket, it's pretty tough. 
Malcolm on the ball. Wise with it. There's the top of the key. Three, three point ball. Well, I'll tell you, Lorelei Logan is making her presence felt. Yeah, she's hustling. Any loose ball she gets after. They list her at 5'8". I assume that's what it is, but she's definitely playing hard at this point. And you're the biggest girl on the floor right now. And got a nice touch. First of two. Basket, coach. We need a basket. Yep. Jump ball. Arrow favors Frazier. 33-28. Minute 39 left in the quarter. Eight fouls for St. Clair. Two for Frazier. So anytime we foul, they're going to the line. Dine to Wise. Wise takes it left, left hand. Furlan on the rebound, and boy, there's that uh, Logan again, knocking it out of bounds, stopping the fast break, all over the place. and Blank into the game. This is her first appearance for her today. She's a good shooter. Yeah. They just got to move the ball a little bit. Side to side, in and out. And there it is. Yeah. Vickers forced the action there but drew the foul, which is great. Shooting two. Two shots. String music. Music to the coach's ears, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Another one. Perfect. Give the ball to Vickers. <laughs> well, she's three or four free throws today. Uh-oh. Rebounds it to Snyder, up to Malcolm. Malcolm takes it wide right. Try to get under control. Patience. Shot up. And off to the left, and rebound goes to Fraser. Up the court. Don't let her set herself. Oxendine takes over the runner. And blank on the rebound. Smallest girl on the floor. Mm. Little St. Clair ball. Baseline out. They don't need to rush. They're trying to run. They're trying to run right back, which is a pretty good play, and they're, they're not used to it. But oh, there's a. Mountain on the shot. Oh. Round up and that'll end the quarter with St. Clair holding the lead at 35 to 28. Well, they've got drink specials every day. Rooms upstairs if you want to stay. If you love music, hit it. Play at the good old Murphy Inn. At the good old Murphy Inn. Looking for a great spot to enjoy lunch or dinner with fantastic daily food and happy hour specials? Look no further than the Murphy Inn in St. Clair. This is Paul, owner of the Murphy Inn. Our charming Irish pub features different food and drink specials every day of the week, plus live entertainment every Wednesday through Saturday. The Inn even offers seven unique hotel rooms complete with modern amenities, perfect for overnight stays or a weekend getaway. There ain't no doubt we're going out to the good old Murphy Inn. That was uh, a quarter where Fraser got back into the ball game. Well, the only score for us in that, in that quarter was Vickers. She had six. Yeah, that was, that was 
a tough quarter. And yeah, right. Third you know. quarter is pretty important, especially the yeah. first three minutes. Yeah. And that didn't go well for us. Yeah. You know, our, our defense wasn't as aggressive as it should have been. We did a lot of reaching. I mean, before we were playing really hard nose on the ball, didn't reach, moved their feet. Well, you know, Darren's heard it enough from you, and then certainly has heard it from me. That first three minutes in the third quarter is really important. Yeah. So I don't think they were. They came out with the intention to not do well. But they didn't have the intensity. The no. other team did. No. Well, we'll see the fourth quarter to hold on and expand the lead. Well, I don't like the fact that we've got two kids with four fouls. That's always a yeah. plan on uh, the edge of the ice at that point. Yeah. So we'll start out with the same lineup to finish the third quarter. Blank. And we got a timeout, I think. Yep. Yeah. Timeout St. Clair. Didn't like what he saw. Well, you know what? The, the continue on going to the right side. And they started at top on top and reversed the ball. They got good movement. We're not getting that movement right now. Yeah. I think you're right about that. You need to center the ball and get it going the other way. I'm sure that's what he's telling them. You know, as quick a timeout as that was? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Five seconds. Didn't take long. So we got the sophomore Schneider in there at the, as the biggest player at 5'8". And uh, we can really use our, our two top gunners there, and Saros and uh, Schlinger. Scrapping. Malcolm on the shot. Nice. Kamarowski. You know, that, they reversed the ball that time and mm -hmm. open shot on the top. What I like about Allie, she's a sophomore. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and she is a terrific athlete. She is somebody that can run all day. We watch in practice, and Darren says, you know, she can run all day. Never gets tired. Well, you see, you're telling me they're all three sport athletes? Yeah. Well, she's very good in track. Coaches, you makes you play aggressively. Yep. Blank on the rebound, smallest kid on the floor. There it is to Malcolm. Seven minutes to go, 37 28 St. Clair. And the ball has hit the left side, which you were just talking about. Entry pass a little bit off. Yeah, they didn't pass away from their defense. Oh, Charge! Uh, yeah. <laughs> You influence the referee. <laughs> Good move. <laughs> Some things never die. <laughs> yep. Well, they've got a substitution into the ball game. Number 21 will come in for Lorelei Logan. She did a nice job and, for her. Yeah, she did. Man. One, two, two, and they've got the middle wide open. See, the middle, there's nobody guarding a high post. There it is. There it is. Oh. Vickers follows Schneider's miss. A nice putback. 39-30 St. Clair. 6.24 to play. Blank oh with golf out front. And draw the foul. Got to talk to her. get a hedge at all. None. The, the lane was wide open and she mm -hmm. took it to the basket. Well, she's going to make her earn the two. Foul 
was on uh, Kamarowski, her third. Yeah, she splits a pair. And that'll be a timeout for a Fraser. Well, well the six minutes to go. We found the we found the weakness of the one two two. It's in the middle. And Schneider took it to the basket nicely. Hurried the shot, but uh, Vickers followed it up on the back side. So. But it's there all day. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him get out of that. In fact, that should be the focal point of the offense. Get it to the high post, and that person should turn to the basket, and you should have somebody on the baseline. Yeah. Well, we'll see. At this point, this it's the 617 mark. It is currently 39-31. St. Clair is five fouls, so they need another couple to get to the free throw line. Let's see what Bob has up his sleeve for Fraser here. Yeah. Bob Fugenzi, veteran coach. St. Clair ball. And they're going to stay in it. The high post is open. Wide open. Oh. Making some unforced turnovers that really yeah. are killing us right now. But yeah. Take a deep breath and play ball. Well, that lane is open again. Shot is up. Shot followed. Nice pass up to Blank, who will fire. Left hand, very nice. Well, she's got that left hand down. That's three straight times. And dying. Yeah, she, she wants to go left. Yeah. There's somebody in the high post. Time out again. I think Darren has spotted it. 39-33. Yep. St. Clair. 5.20 to go. When they move the ball, keep it off the floor. So they get some action. See what, see what happens here after the timeout. You ought to get Schindler back in there eventually. I mean, well, Seros is in now. And the senior hopefully will calm him down a little bit. There it is. There it is. He spotted it. There he goes. So it was almost like we were telling him what to do, but um, is honestly, Darren's very perceptive on the sideline. So let's see if Snyder can complete these. So music to the coaches. Yep. Music this is the, the time. String music. both of them. Let's see what we're in defensively here. Oh, we're going to go high. Pressure on the ball. Yep, that's good. High hands. Get them up, girls. Ladies, don't. There's no pockets in them pants. High hands. Shot. Good, good defense. There it is, Schneider. Don't Covers. let up. Don't let up. Don't let up. Keep it in the corner. There it is. Timeout. Frazier.
Pizer, yeah. He, that was a good move on Coach Pizerkowski. Well, that's that, uh, that's that eye defense that puts pressure on the perimeter and really takes away the drive. Yep. Five left, coach. 41-33, St. Clair. We got to keep Sarah's out there. Yep. Strong with well, the ball. You know, we're, we're shooting free throws very well. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like they knew we were here, coach. They're playing Bob Seeger back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And honor the old guys. Yeah. All right, we're in a zone defense and in inbounds. And we're screening off that point guard. That's what he's trying to do. Shot up, rebound, oh, over the back. And knocked away, and they're going to give it to Frazier. Snyder had position and got knocked out of her hand. Yep. Zone off again, I would imagine. And uh, they're trying to screen the point. Make sure she don't let her shoot. Saros. Quick pass. Good pass. Komarowski and oh. missed the shot, but uh, hurried it a little bit, Coach. She did a good job going to the boards. Yeah. Arrow favors St. Clair. Was that a hell ball on that? I believe it was. Yeah. So she's going to get a rest. She's been in for quite a while. She's yep. played most of the game. She's got to be tired. 41-33, four minutes to go. Shot up. Money. Three ball. Quinn. There's a middle. Nice pass nice. to Vickers. A lot. play. We just go back to shot down. Pressure on the ball. Cover the middle. Pressure on the ball. She just fell. We should get this one. Yeah, we do. Saros with the ball. Being dogged by number 10, Oxendine. Now they've put a there player is. in the middle. Away by number 23 under the basket. Skyler Meeks. Sure, he's getting underneath the basket. Short, but Schindler. Schindler, that's what he said. Back, yeah. I think they. Fraser got a piece of that one, I believe. Pressure on the ball. And swing pass across court. High hands on the. Point. Nice pass. Wow. Very nice. Looked like they've done that before. Five point lead for St. Clair, 2.57 to go. Give it to her. She's there. She's wide open. Actually, she could slide down a little bit. Pickers. She's pointing to herself. I need to come out, coach. <laughs> I think Eric saw her. Yeah. Here goes Furlan then. Oxendine. Checking in for Fraser, number 25. Norbeck, starter. Long board. Furling gets a piece. And that was big. Four point lead for St. Clair. Yeah, she needs move down the lane. Yeah, she needs to move down the lane. Down halfway. Jeez. 
it on the yeah. way over, it would have been over and back. Well, they're not going to throw her the ball. I think maybe they're just going to try to hold it. What do you think, Coach? I think they need to get the ball. There it is. Right back, a little shot right there. Oh, throwing on it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That'll make those. Don't get any better shot than that. No. Nope. Oh. We caught a break there. Oxendine dribbled it off her foot, and she was going for that left hand again. 132 to go in the ball game. Saints holding a four-point lead. Entry pass into the middle. Right Take it to the basket. Take it to the basket. Minute five to go, 43-39. We're in a 2-3 now, not, a, not an eye, but a 2-3. Not the way they... Yeah, the student section is picking up over here. What a block. Oh, my goodness. Is that on Shinley? Yep. Yep. That's, that hurts. 50 seconds, though. Snyder will come back in and try to use the center position. Oh, that, that's only four. Maybe I thought it was five. No, it's four. Okay. Snyder retreats to her position. Ooh, that did everything but go in. Girls box out. Let's get the possession of the ball. Quinn at the line. Had an in and out. And splits the pair. Full court press. Razor's taking a timeout. Well, um, be interesting to see what his strategy is. He didn't well, like the fact that we were holding the ball a little bit, so he may, may, may uh, come out and play hard defense for maybe the first 20 seconds and then take a foul. Try to get a steal. The probably full court press, man to man. And so you got to make sure we come beat the ball. Right. Well, he just saw the layup zone. He just saw the press, so I'm sure Darren's ready. Getting the kids ready to see it again. Wow, I thought Schindler had four fouls, and I thought that was his fifth. All right, now he's got it. He's dropping somebody back. In this press, you just once you get it in bounds, you just get back. They're playing man to man. They'll get real yeah, aggressive. Man to man. Oh. Foul in St. Clair. And the double bonus. Shoot two. She gets a foul. That's called the big boy combo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Miss the shot. Get the foul. Now we got to make our free throws. 
this, so you definitely want to keep keep him off the free throw line. Schindler finds Saros, and there's a foul right away. There are eight fouls, so we're still in the one and one. Coach, 21 seconds to go, a three-point lead for St. Clair. And if I'm Darren, I'm hoping for string music. Big free throw. I like the rebound. seconds to go. One and one. In this case, I take him off the line. Yep. There's no reason. Except for that one. Except for that one. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe he knew something more than I did. Huh? Yep. Boy, what a good win for St. Clair. Holy that was big. Cow. They needed that one big time, and they hung in there when the uh, going got tough, and they finished it off. 45-40, the final score. Uh, St. Clair now goes to 4-1. and one. Fraser drops to 3-2. and two. Protect home court advantage. And, Coach, what you got? Well, we got uh, Soros with four points. Uh, Ferlin with two points. Kowalowski uh, with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She was uh, five for she, one, two, five for six from the free throw line. Schneider had uh, nine. Wow. A couple Vickers, Vickers had uh, ten. Vickers had a wonderful game. Yep. And then uh, Schneider, Schneider had uh, twelve. Yeah. That, so that's, Vickers had that's 15. Si that's si size difference. Yeah. Well, Vickers had 15. 15. Well, congratulations to Coach Pichikowski and Coach Lore and the Lady Saints in general. And we're going to take this back to CTV. You've been watching East China High School Sports presented by Magda. Join us again soon for more East China High School sports action on CTV, your community TV channel for Marine City and St. Clair.